Okay, so Sarang is asking that during shift change or during transportation, there happens self-extubation of the patient, how to prevent and manage it. So understand that there are two terminologies. One is self-extubation, the other is accidental extubation. Self-extubation means the patient himself or herself has removed the endotracheal tube, while accidental extubation means during transportation or during shift change or during any bedside procedure, the tube get dislodged. Now, the incident is 1 to 15 percent. This is a common scenario in all the ICUs. The range may varies. Now, what complication it can have? Now, the first thing is airway compromise. The patient can have uh, laryngeal edema. The patient have, can have bleeding. The patient can have hypotension, arrhythmias. Uh, there happens can be pulmonary edema or the patient may uh, desaturate very fast. So, these are the things. Now, how to prevent it? Two things. One, in, in every shift, make sure you check the endotracheal tube position, the cuff pressure and the tie. And whenever you are transporting or doing a procedure, make one person alert regarding the uh, endotracheal tube. Be vigilant for the endotracheal tube. Now, how to manage? First thing is don't panic. In accidental extubation, there is there is little urgency. You just take care by the embu mask and do a proper section and then reintubate the patients. In self-extubation, you assess the patient whether this patient requires reintubation or not. 50% of the time, the patient doesn't require reintubation. It can be managed on oxygen mask or an IV. If not, then take care with the embu and then properly reintubate the patients. You may require a little smaller size of tube because of the difficult airway and do read more about it.